Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of mine. Today I want to talk about the Ryzen 2700X in terms of video editing and generally content creation. The reason for this is that I didn't really find a lot of information of this processor's performance in these fields. I have researched which processor to buy, so I thought I would contribute my results with you. The Ryzen is paired with a GTX 960, 16GB of DDR4 RAM and a NVMe SSD to edit off of. The programs I use for content creation are DaVinci Resolve for coloring, Hitfilm Express for actually editing and compositing, and finally Luminar for video editing. Resolve heavily benefits from this processor. When using the program you can't really notice any real slowdown. The 2700X paired with the NVMe SSD do an amazing job. Next I tried exporting the colored 1080p clips from my recent IGTV video of Graz. All the clips have a lot and also some minor grading and correction applied to them. And yeah, it absolutely blows through that. You can really see how optimized Resolve is. It uses pretty much all of the processor. All 16 threads are totally used. The program exports around 60 to 90 frames a second compared to my old processor, the FX6300, which reads around 10 to 15. Exporting and coloring on this machine is a blast. Next up is Hitfilm Express. This program on the other end is not as optimized I found. While editing the grass video, I did encounter some minor slowdowns. I can't really blame the processor for this. I'd say it's, it handles even this program quite good. It was very enjoyable to edit with it. Editing and also some major compositing are totally doable with this processor. When it comes to exporting, the processor does a pretty good job too. Like I said, Hitfilm isn't as optimized as Resolve is. The last program in this test is Luminar. I use this program for image editing and for what I can tell it runs really well. The program does raw files very fast, it's quick and responsive. Exporting JPEGs is very fast too. It takes around 3 to 5 seconds to export a picture for Instagram, compared to about 15 seconds with the last processor. Overall, I'm really happy with this processor and I find it to be an excellent alternative to the i7-8700K. I'd be really happy if you left a like if this video has helped you and see you in my next video.